Miss Mel is out here doing a little cooking. She said she cooked me some breakfast right here. A Hungarian sausage and some eggs. And what you cooking up over here? A little fried rice? Yes. And she puts those little shrimp right there in there. Those little krills that have dried. Oh my God, they're good. If you like eating Cajun food, man, get some of these and add it to your Cajun food. They are wonderful. stone work going on in the back right here man check this out boy right here on the side of this back staircase is that a change or what man Emma's is just doing just a remarkable job man i just uh really am liking this man Mr. Mott is mixing up some of this skim coat to shoot texture again. This is the wall that he shot yesterday. Man, look how nice that looks. Or the day before yesterday, actually. Man, just look how nice that looks. Especially after it's painted and everything, man. That really adds character to these walls. Without a doubt. Without a doubt, man. A little morning sunshine coming down on it there. Gives it kind of a stucco look outside. Which I think goes really good with the character of this house. To give it that stucco texture. So they put up a little bamboo on this side. And you see all this bamboo over here is gone now, man. Look at that. That is all completed, boy. Yeah. That is nice, nice. So coming around here, this is the side towards our bedroom. Just look at all these bananas right here. Now you gotta think, we've already harvested quite a few bananas. Look here though. Bananas, 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 bananas. This place is going bananas. So, yeah, so he's going to stop right here on this radius, and then then the last place he's going to work is uh, this corner over here by our bedroom and coming around. Yeah, it'll look good. So he's going to do all this side down through here, and he's going to do this side all up here as well, and it's going to tie all into the work he's already done up above. So it'll complete it all. Looks very nice, man. Very pleased with it. The railing's so close, he having a hard time getting back away from it. <laughs> and the lean backwards. Do some matrix on it, boy. Here, come over here and you can get right here at it. Right, that was good. And then I'll reach up over that window for you there. Add more on there. Oh, you can do over that window when you get on top. Yeah.
That looks good. That looks real good. Add a little more in the middle. We get our uh, maybe maybe today I'm not sure today tomorrow probably today our fire inspection and uh, it should all go fine we went above and beyond what they require it's just a formality so uh, and they and, you know they need to collect their pesos because that's what keeps their offices and their pay and their employees and their equipment and time it's what keeps it going you know you've got to pay the popper and I um, look forward to that. I do have one um, additional smoke detector that I like to get up this morning. So when Mop Mop finishes spraying that texture on that side, don't take long to spray that texture. You can cover the walls fast. So he'll be done with that in just a little bit. And then that'll have to dry for a little while before they can prime it and paint it. So in that lag time, I'm gonna get him to come in and do a couple things. I got, I think, two smoke detectors I wanna get up this morning. Well, he got this all sprayed, and after this uh, dries for a while, it's not dried yet, they'll go through and knock all these little bumps off like that right there. They'll flake right off. It's almost to the point now. And not, not yet, it needs to cure and get a little harder. And they're going through cleaning up and wiping down, getting everything off all the railings and stuff everywhere yeah working it all over doing a cleanup yeah it's spraying it goes fast and it looks good mark i'm gonna put you on doing another task while they do cleanup we're gonna put up a couple uh smoke detectors in the house and we're gonna try to put that You know, we're here by the ocean. We've got to do the whole ocean theme. So I decided to put a porthole in the kitchen right there. What do y'all think? Uh, now we've got sunshine coming through. Porthole in the kitchen. See, it lets this light in. Look at it shining here. Isn't that nice? Light on the ceiling. Tell me what you think. It is really All right, good. so you good. fixed up some noodles, huh? This, this kind of noodles. Do you like it? Put it up here. Yeah, it tastes really good. Yeah, it is a kind of mm, noodles nice. that I like. I'm about to cook chicken. Carrots, cabbage, black pepper. What else you got in there? Pork? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, pork. Mm, nice. So, I'm posting here. So Joel and I, we just came from City Hardware because we're gonna do work on this area right here. Like she said, it's so hot right here, but also monsoon season soon returning and you will not be able to cook out here because it'll be blowing rain. Yes, and wind. And the wind blowing the flame out. And plus, if you stand right here, we got our neighbors that built this place. They got windows there. They're sitting inside. They're looking right up at us. We're looking right down at them. Um, not cool. So what we're going to do is we just bought uh, eight inch glass blocks and we're going to put an eight inch glass block row across right here. And we're going to put some steel up in between them and it'll have cement or mortar up in between them. And then on top of them, we're going to make a concrete ledge and it's going to stick out. That'll be way up here. We're gonna make a shelf and that shelf's gonna, tall shelf, and that shelf's gonna be up high enough. Not only will it be blocking that view right there, but high enough that it'll be away from a tall pot or anything you have right here. 
And then what we're going to do on, from the top of that tile shelf is we're going to put those jealousy windows. Those jealousy windows is those long glass slide ones that rock and turn open. And we're going to put a set of jealousies right there. And that way we can close them if it's blowing rain. Um, you know, if it's like sun piercing down, we're going to get that tinted glass and put on them, uh, tinting it down a little bit. And if it's a nice day and you want some air to blow through there, you can crack them open and let air pass all through there. But that's all about to go down. We just went picking up material for that. Miss Mel, she's about to fry up some chicken from one of those chickens that we raised right here on the property. We put the air con control here on this column in the middle of the room. I need to put our table and her decorations and all back over here now. But that's a central place in the middle of this great room in here. And so the air con can get a reading from over there. It's close enough if we're sitting on the couches, we want to reach over and turn off the air conditioner, turn on the air conditioner, just temperature or anything like that. So uh, got that done. And out here, the guys are painting, painting, painting. It's a paint-a-thon. Primer coats, top coats, finish it up. And then tomorrow, they should be able to peel this bamboo down they put up for this texturing right here and all the plastic and tape. And I'm just so happy with this look, man. I mean, it's got that stucco look to the walls now. I like it, man. It is so cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm joking with you about the porthole. That's for the vent hood. <laughs> Thought I would just skip along that little video for a minute and let you all stew. Now we moved the stove out of the way. We set the vent hood down today and the range cover and we bored through the wall right there for the tube going out and to put a vent on the outside. Um, what I did is I got up there and drew a circle right where that pipe's going and it's got all this little cover and all that goes on it. And I had Mop Mock to take a small little quarter inch bit and drill just side beside 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 circles with a quarter inch bit and a full circle around that. All right, and then we came back through there with a long 3 8 bit that went deep and then we came back over the top of that with a um, about a 5 8 bit and we ran that 5 8 bit all the way through as a long one to the outside and with very little effort then afterwards boom we had a circle there's the aftermath there's the tools another thing Joel and I just came from City Hardware looking at was on the tiles here for the staircase and we're trying to lay out how we're gonna do the tiles. So I bought all the tiles for the steps, for the tread so far, but I couldn't get a tile that was just like the one going on steps for that, that back piece in there, that like that kicker piece as you call it, toe piece, whatever you wanna call it. Drawing a blank again, seems to be happening a lot since I hit my head, I'm joking, it's just BS, I'm still okay. <laughs> But uh, I'm blaming on something, right? Well, uh, we think we found some tile that's going to be really great in that back if the measurements come out good. So uh, we're going to measure up if those tiles will work. And they're like a wood grain and are really dark and are already eight inches wide. And I think that's what that is. We're about to grab a tape and see. And those pieces are one meter long each. So we would be able to put those in in the back and then have the tiles we already bought on the treads and we will soon be tiling the staircase. And before we tile the staircase, Mop Mop needs to come up in here and texture all of that up in the top right there. They need to do the same thing they've been doing outside. Let's tape off the windows, tape off all the stonework, everything like that, and then spray all the texture up there. So we're gonna be taking and draping some plastic across right here at this beam, moving all of our personal effects from out right in there. And that inside there is also coming up on getting finished out right there in the foyer. And I'm pretty excited for that as well. 
That's the end to another day here. End to another, another, another day. And I had a package show up here. And look here, I got my bow roller for the boat. That's to go up on the front of the boat right there. The chain and the rope, the road will pass through right there. And the anchor will slip up and lock in. So I look forward to getting that on. But when they delivered this today, I knew that it was scheduled for delivery. But the girl showed up here that, that delivers to us and she had three boxes and i'm like uh, i kind of can see the size of that one i said i know what that is that's what i'm expecting but what are these other two big boxes right here and i look you know they show they're from amazon and then i got to thinking we have a subscriber that has to be the one that sent this uh two different boxes and that one's a pretty tall box mm -hmm. and uh it has to be Daryl that goes as not your daddy on our channel uh probably one of our longest subscribers yes i mean early on and a very birth of our channel from the start that we him and a few and a few others that are still with us chad and billy and different billy ones chad. billy you know billy commented today in yes. fact you know or here chad. recently yeah yeah, yeah chad and uh and they just, they've been great people. They really have. And just great banner, good times. You know, CC too. Yes. CC Ryder. Yeah. We have some subscribers, a whole group of them that was like the birth of our channel subscribers. And we really appreciate a lot. The so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The OGs. <laughs> the reason I say it has to be Daryl is because he wrote me a week or so ago wanting to confirm my address and said he was sending something so thus this must be daryl so uh mel yes. you, you see what a brave man i am to hand a woman a knife yeah, <laughs> it's only know. because i'm recording the evidence so we don't know what it is this, but uh you know it's uh i already think, say thank you so much and yes i'm so excited to open this so the top one i'm definitely not sure about the bottom one is one of those life-size dolls that I'm replacing you with. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's a doll in a box. Well, make it sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think he ordered that from one of those Japanese companies. So which one again? The, the, I just want to go to this one. I'm going to take it to the room. No, just open that one. I'm joking. Oh, you came back. I thought you done left. Her hair is so thick. Man, that girl's got yes. thick hair. Beautiful. A Wi-Fi projector? Are you serious? Wi-Fi projector? Yeah, like a project movies and stuff on the wall. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, wait. Oh, put it up here, man, where we can see it. You look like you're ready to run with it. <laughs> I just want to check this out, and that is, I, I, I don't even know what to say, you know. Yeah. I, I don't. The kids gonna be watch here, you know. Oh, it's in a little bag. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is portable then. And I'm just having to wing this as we go, cause don't know, but it being Wi-Fi too. Yeah, there's power yeah. supply, everything for it. But this is compact and portable. No, this is so is. cool. Yeah, so you can take this with you. Oh, oh man, check that out. Check that out. I'm just blown away, man, I'm dude. Gadget person, so I don't know. <laughs> you are so cool. He has been with us for so long. And... Man, we just have daily banner and enjoyment with no each in, other. There's no individual that he didn't comment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, man. <laughs> We've been hoping that we would see him, that he would come here. Absolutely. Been with us for so long. So, just got a little screw. I'm going to kind of run it back in. That must have shook out probably in shipping because it's out to its end limits right there. 
get that up in there where it should be probably that is cool so it's it's compact wi-fi projector that is some cool stuff right there <coughs> agreed miss coffee <laughs> <laughs> Now to James's <laughs> doll. What are we gonna name her? Hi. Be, uh, be careful, don't hurt her. Be careful with that knife. Don't worry. Don't punch a hole. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jeannie. Do you wanna play? <laughs> she might punch you. My, I might got her pre-programmed. It's probably a trick. It's probably just the empty box. Yes. Wow. They just start pulling the paper at one end, you know, kind of like a money cake. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. you go. There like you a go. money cake right there. There you go. <laughs> keep pulling. Keep pulling. You're supposed to have $100 bills attached all along there. So it's a tripod, and that's going to be to set that projector right there up on. So this is what this is going to be, is the stand here for this projector. So you can take it with you to set it up. Now we know. Now we know. Yep, you can set it up. And the thing is, if you want to tilt it, it's got tilt angles and all right here to where you can use it however you want. Pretty neat, huh? Mm -hmm. This is the one that you mentioned for your blog. About putting a, a projector yes, up up there and all and uh, playing movies or playing movies for the kids. Like, mm -hmm. I, you know, I've got a library of movies right now on my other laptop for kids. But you're not a kid anymore. You're no longer a kid, remember? You're trying to be an adult too fast. <laughs> yeah, you need to slow down. Slow it down. Yeah. Tomorrow when I see you, I want you to be two foot shorter, okay? <laughs> Woo. Mr. Darrell. Yes, thank you so much, Daryl. Not your daddy. Not your daddy. <laughs> You're or, not your daddy. Or as Ronald calls you, not your papa. <laughs> <laughs> not your daddy. Wow, we're going to check this out, and I'll show how it all worked in another video. And this is pretty cool. I see it's got a place for memory stick, everything, yes, USB, it's it's really all that. It's really That's going to be some cool mm -hmm. stuff right there. So we can do tailgate movies now. Yeah, we should. <laughs> They're surprising again. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much. Not your daddy. <laughs> yeah. See you later, man.